This episode is sponsored by Wacom, Wacom.com. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Face the Truth. Um, I'll be honest with y'all, it's pretty early, uh, 6 in the morning. I'm super tired. You can probably hear it in my voice. Um, but I got to get this out for y'all, so uh, please bear with me. Um, so anyway, something really cool happened since my last podcast with Sun Little. It's pretty exciting for me anyways. He asked me to paint his next album cover, so that was pretty awesome. Um, it turned out really well and was personally exciting for me because I basically invented a whole new look and style for it, which just fuels me and pumps me up as an artist. I totally feel refreshed, which which is just awesome. That's why this episode with Jan has taken me a bit to finish and upload. I also painted a pitch for a movie poster a couple months ago and was approached yesterday and told that people in charge loved it, but they would like it to be, you know, to have like a different expression. Seems like an easy fix if they can provide the right kind of reference, but uh, nope, not this one. Turns out I have to basically repaint the entire head and from a different angle and then make the match or make it match the rest of the painting I already did. And also I only have half a day to do it. So again, this is why Jan's episode was pushed back a bit. So I apologize for that. I appreciate all of your support and involvement in the podcast. It means so much to me. So thank you so much. My guest this week has been an important influence on my life. He was especially a huge influence on my work when I was first getting started nearly 20 years ago. And what I mean by getting started is when I realized that I wanted to take my caricaturing to the next level, as well as my drawing skills. He was a big influence on that. When I first saw his work, something clicked in my head. It made sense to me. It challenged and pushed me. It made me think and rethink what caricature is or what it can be. His cross-hatching and his exaggeration are totally original and totally his. As in, I can see a sketch for half a second and know right away that it's his. And countless artists from around the world have also learned a lot from this man. One thing I discovered during our talk is that Yan is not a show-off and he's a fairly humble guy. Or is he? He doesn't seem to take compliments well and is quick to uplift other artists who's, who he feels are better than him. This is admirable, but here's one thing I also know about this man. If you ever go to Vienna, to Eurocon, or any ISCA convention, do not let Jan's outer appearance of a gentle, kind, and humble person fool you. Because deep down inside, he is laughing maniacally because he's actually thinking about how he is going to kick everyone's asses. And he almost always does. It gives me great pleasure to welcome my friend, all the way from Belgium, Mr. Jan Optebeek. All right, looks like it's working. Cool, man. All right. Thank you so much for joining me for this, man. This is a huge honor. It's going to be... Uh, the honor uh, is totally mine. <laughs> well... I'll decide what the honor is. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Seriously though, it's it's so great to talk to you. I haven't seen you for a couple of years, so it's really nice to see you yeah, again. Yeah, it's been a while. You change a lot. No, it's it's a joke. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, a lot actually has changed in my life. That's for sure. It's been weird. Uh, uh, I have a new baby now too, but you know what that's like. A, a new baby? Yeah, yeah. We I have a a year and a half old daughter. That's not a new one. I thought you you, you oh, were no, mentioning no. a new one. Well, since, <laughs> a brand since, new one. <laughs> yeah, since I last saw you, I have a, another. Yeah, baby. yeah, I know her. I so. follow everything. Oh yeah, yeah. She's so cute. Oh. Yeah. yeah, she's amazing, man. It's she must it's, have a pretty woman, a pr- pretty yeah. mother, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. But it's it's that's it's crazy, you know. Just because I'm I'm getting used to my oldest uh, yeah. high school, and so I'm. I'm it the the baby years is way easier than that yeah, <laughs> right now actually that that's correct <laughs> yeah like I'm I'm like this this high school thing is is a little little challenging I think the age but but it's it's all it's all been good you know uh you have uh you have, have like, a few yeah whole army of children now I have six of them wow <laughs> yeah I so have... you know. <laughs> <laughs> tell me all about it yeah, I mean, you, you've been in your, how old's your oldest? Well, he must be 39 this year. Whoa, okay. So you've been, you've been in the business I've, for a little bit. Yeah, I have some experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it's, it's funny because I, um, I was thinking about this, about, I, I, I have you one want of six your, of them. No, 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 no. I can lend you a few. 
<laughs> nah, I'm I'm I mean my wife and I have talked about maybe one more, so I, I don't but I'm I don't know. We'll think about uh, it. Yeah. She, she will she will trick you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's um, a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah. yeah. Um but I, I like it. I love being a dad. But uh but I had I was wondering, I was thinking about this earlier today about your your drawings and stuff, and a lot of people um are very excited to uh for you for you to be on this um uh you've got a, a lot of fans yeah uh, yeah no a lot of people love your work <laughs> um but i i was thinking about it like when i first came ac across your work it was a very interesting time because um you know the internet was fairly new ish yeah. there was no um facebook or anything like that and you know no. i was like this just, like young just hungry to learn as much as possible. Like just anything, any artist that I could just learn from, I was, that's all I was about. Just like, every, and I still am, but I mean, at that point I was really just like, um, I was the only one with a website or something. Well, like, <laughs> no, I never, I never heard of you or anything. And I think Probably somehow, not. um, you know, cause most of my, most of the artists that I looked up to at the time were, um, all American artists. Very and, nice. um, and then I remember, um, I don't, I don't even know how I came across your site. Um, it was, it might've just been one of those things where I was just typing caricature and it popped up or something like that. And I remember, um, seeing your, your work and right away I was like, who the hell is this guy? This is crazy. Like, cause, cause it just literally, um, was everything that I was trying to do you. And, and I was like, this guy's like, you're cross hatching. Fortunately, like a, you didn't stop there. <laughs> <laughs> no man like it was like such a huge thing and then the coolest thing about it is at that time you had this awesome uh, competition that you were doing i think on, i started the caricature competitions all yeah. over <laughs> oh yeah yeah I and it was so. it was fantastic it was fantastic because uh basically i saw this i'm like oh man you every i think it, did you do it once a month yeah or, okay so i you would do like i, I um like one of them I, that i ended up winning was uh, was michael jackson which was awesome yeah, yeah, yeah. i gave um, away sketch every month so yeah. yeah and it was the coolest thing i was like wow if you win you get one of his original drawings and yeah. so i was it it really motivated me to like push myself even harder because i wanted so badly to win maybe um, i have to one, start one up your again. <laughs> yeah no it was awesome it was such a great thing and then you would show um, the artist work on your site, and then, yeah, yeah. and then you would right. put up another one, and so it was such an awesome, awesome thing. But it really, for me, it it helped kind of make me focus a lot more because I was like, oh, I gotta, there, because there's a lot of awesome artists sending stuff. Um, and again, this was this was before um, Facebook or anything like that, so there there, there wasn't. I don't, I don't know. I think it was before. Well, I was don't there know. a time before Facebook? <laughs> yeah, I think I think the time I'm thinking of is, is it was you made I think, me feel like a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it was two thousand. I think it was right after nine eleven is when I started sending my artwork to you. Um, so it had to be it had to be around two thousand one. Who was who was uh, living in my my uh, city for a few days? Nine eleven. Who was was he a, a politician or something? No, 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 no. The the caricature artist. The... Oh. Colombia, living in New York. Oh, Ishmael. Ishmael, yeah, he was yeah. here. It was it was in Mecca, my city, when it happened. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, <laughs> that's so weird. So that, that was a coincidence. Must, yeah. yeah, that must have been very strange. And his um, wife in those days needed some special drugs because she was pregnant, and then oh. we tried to solve the whole thing because they couldn't go back; they had to stay longer. Oh wow. Uh, oh yeah, because you can you can fly anywhere they for a little couldn't bit. Fly, no. <laughs> oh man, I mean that was such a surreal, weird time. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I I still remember the first time I flew after that. Um, it was I think in October is is uh, I think the first time, and so it was just every, fresh in everybody's mind, and um, I flew to, I think, Virginia or something like that. I, I was going on no. a family vacation, <laughs> and it was it was. And it was crazy because one of those flights. <laughs> yeah, when when I when we got out of the airplane, there was soldiers everywhere with machine guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I had never seen that before. It's like, oh, it's a different time now. We had the same the same thing here because we had an attack two years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's crazy. Like when I went to um, 
I was in Paris a couple years ago, and um, I, w- I only got to be there for two days. It was like a really quick trip. Um, but it was very strange because I walked around as much as possible. I wanted to see everything I could. And I, I just couldn't believe how many soldiers there are with machine guns. <laughs> just walking around Paris, you're like, yeah. look how beautiful this city is. And it's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's very hard to explain to small children because initially you don't want to explain all this shit to small children, right? But oh, then yeah. you come at the airport and they say, ooh, why are there soldiers here <laughs> with big yeah. guns? <laughs> it's pretty intimidating. It's it like, is. Oh, it is. It's kind of kind of nutty. But um, anyway. So uh, anyway. Yeah. Dinosaur, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Dinosaur time. Yeah. <laughs> But um, it was um, that was just such an awesome thing because um, it was a way for for all. Like I started to meet, uh, I met you of course through it, and then I started to meet other artists at the, at the time that were sending in work, and it kind of turned into like a little mini, you know, caricature artist uh, oh, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was it was kind of like a um, your website was kind of like a an early Facebook uh, in a way. Uh, okay, <laughs> now you make me feel better, but. Also yeah. bad. Also really <laughs> bad because I couldn't make any money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's hard. It's hard, man. Stupid. But uh, yeah. but what I was curious about was this because you um so like I said I wasn't aware of you until that point and then uh, I found out that oh you had books that you did and everything and I um I got one of your books so I was like what in the world and, and I can't I can't read it it's like it's it's um. You know, obviously in a different language, but I can read it visually, and I, I remember just going through that book, just looking at everything, just, just um, like the my one still to this day my favorite thing that about your caricatures is how you do eyes, because you you always have so much character in the eyes, and a lot of times you do a lot of wh- white, you know, a lot of white around the eye, maybe, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, and um, so there's little things like that where that. I think of like even when I'm doing a, a certain drawing, I'm like, oh, that's kind of uh, a little bit Yano Topeka, a little bit. Right? <laughs> like I just think of, it's like it's like there in the mind, you know, like that's something. So what I was wondering was, um, you had a, you definitely obviously you had a beginning um, uh, in the dinosaur age or something like that, but I mean, was it you know you were this artist that was. Um, you know, trying to, to do well, but you, you were terrible. And then you, you met the devil at the crossroads and uh, did a little little Robert Johnson switcheroo, and all of a sudden you're this um, this amazing artist. Or um, what was it like <laughs> growing up and, and getting into the art world? Because you've got such a distinct style um, and approach to, like, just, like, even your watercolor work to your – really tight uh, line hatching stuff, which is crazy. Uh, do you have a, a very specific uh, feel? And so what I was curious about is just when did this whole thing start for you, the caricaturing and um, just, you know, your overall approach to how you wanted to do it, if that makes sense. <laughs> well, the start was kind of a family matter. We had an uncle and every week we got together in, in the family and he made some little funny drawings of family members and everybody liked it, of course. So that was the spark, sparkle that hit me. Right? But um, as far as it's concerned as, um, about quality and getting better, um, I think I, I've been, I sucked as an artist for a long time. <laughs> you know, I'm cleaning up my attic at this, at this time these days and I'm throwing away kilograms of <laughs> the old sketches, <laughs> which which are really, really bad. Um, so in general, I, I, I don't like my work. So that's so very easy. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I can relate to that a lot. <laughs> yeah. um, so sometimes it's really um, kind of like feeling ashamed when, when I see my old stuff again. Yeah. And, <laughs> Especially when you see it in an old book, <laughs> it's like, oh my god, it's still going around in the world. <laughs> People oh, no. still see that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I I definitely understand that. I mean, I like I sometimes when I'm working on something, I'm like, oh, I'm I'm really liking this a lot. This is this is this is coming together. But then you know, you see it a couple of weeks later, and you're just like, oh, you see everything the thing that, that could looked, be better. <laughs> the drawings that last the, the most for me in value are sketches. Yeah, 
even with my old sketches, sometimes there are sketches that I still like, you know? Yeah. But the finished things, oh boy, oh boy. I see mistakes everywhere, you know? <laughs> That's <laughs> probably the, the teacher aspect in me. Yeah. Uh, are you you're still teaching? Well, yeah. Uh, normally I should be, but uh, since a couple of months I, I've been home because last year I fell off the stairs and I broke my kneecap. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it doesn't heal anymore, so... Oh no. Yeah. Oh man. There are worse things in life, Jason. My hand is still okay. Yeah. My my head is more <laughs> or less okay. <laughs> it sounds terrible, your kneecap though. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's, it's only a piece of one centimeter and a half. So I said I told the surgeon, you can remove it if you want. And he said, No, because then you cannot walk anymore. <laughs> so uh, I said, Okay, and then well, we cannot heal everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Um Put me with me home. <laughs> That's, you know, it's really crazy. Is, uh, I, I, uh, this just reminds me of something. Um, uh, about a couple weeks ago, I was at a family thing, um, Jacqueline's family, and her cousin is like 15 or 16 or something like that. And he had this freak accident where he's playing basketball or something like that, basketball, some kind of sport outside where he was jumping. And he jumped in the air, and while he was in the air, his his leg muscle crushed his his uh, patella. Really? Like just crushed it, broke it into like, pieces. Oh my god! Just for somehow him jumping the air. I've never heard of this before. No. It's the weirdest thing. Um, and so in in midair it broke, and of so course he, he his, lands. His muscle he, was too strong, or or his patella was too weak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some like yeah. I was like. Did, you two drink milk, man. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, somehow he uh, yeah he had to get you know a plate in the front and a plate behind it and and uh, no more running around for a yeah. long time and that's I mean, what I already have in my both knees, both <laughs> my knees. I already have prosthetics in oh my, my knees, God. but they, then, they are still okay. They're they're on the on the same place still, oh, man. <laughs> even after falling. So but so we yes, so that's. About Oh no! So that stopped you though from teaching. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, but uh, yeah. you taught. Well, officially, for... I still have one year to go, but I I don't think I'm gonna make it. I mean, oh, okay. Yeah. Um. And did you, when you were teaching, you was were you doing uh just mostly was it like a drawing class or? Yeah, drawing uh, classes, and illustration, and most of the time uh, perspective things and drawing life stuff and yeah. some model, model. Yeah. That's awesome. And was it high yeah. school? Yeah, high school. It was man, those are some lucky kids, man. Well, for me it was okay too because um, sometimes people are teaching drawing in a regular high school and then they only have one or two hours per week. So mm -hmm. then you're not really important. But my classes, I had them maybe six or eight hours per week. So I was pretty important. Oh, and, yeah. And my students normally, they when they came, when they subscribed, they were people who liked to draw. They liked drawing. So they were kind of motivated. Yeah, that's uh, more interesting to teach. <laughs> yeah, but oh man, I, that's that's amazing. I I had the worst, uh, yeah, yeah, high, high school <laughs> art classes. Like, I mean, luckily my dad's an artist, so I I yeah. you know I watched him do stuff. But in our art classes, literally, we I'd come to class and they would say, um, "Yeah, do whatever you want. Uh, you can you can do any kind of medium you want. Whatever you know, bring your own stuff." Uh, just so everyone was just in class doing whatever, like I, you know, there was no direction, there was no. But like, it was it was kind of an art class. It was. It was an art class, but there was, uh, no, yeah, yeah. there was no teaching. There was no. Wow. There, there wasn't like, hey, let's talk about you know perspective or shading or values or drawing you know shapes or anything. It was just, yeah, just just have fun and d you can draw, you can paint, you can. <laughs> there's some clay over there. You can play with that. Like it was like stupid. We we got yeah. <laughs> uh, art classes from an architect, and he was so bored that he was always reading his newspaper in, in the classroom. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, jeez, that's crazy. So um, so so the sketches were kind of the most most important thing for me because because and that has another reason because throughout the years, well, in the beginning I had not only in the beginning but I I had my big examples to look up to, yeah, famous artists, and in my whole process of trying to get better, I realized that I couldn't get that that good as they as they did. So th probably that's why 
I maybe I focused more and more on sketching. And also because that's the most creative part of all the thing for me. And yeah. Yeah. It's it's kind of satisfying. Um when when you're um yeah, you know, that's the thing too. I that's the thing I like about like sketching or just even um, like you're looking at your sketches or just other artists' sketches in general. Like you, there's so much more life, and and just you know, I, I, I a lot of times when you work on something, like you, you'll have a great sketch, and then you start working on you know like the client or whatever wants like a final yeah. finished painting. There's a lot of times where I've looked back and been like, man, the sketch was so much better. What, what happened? <laughs> you know, like it just. But I mean, at the same time, it's. Um, it's one of those things where there's a lot of times I wish that, um, well, you know, the, you know, the artist Victor who has, um, I, I, you might've seen his work. He actually, I actually had him on my podcast, um, like a few months ago, but he, he, his work is, is, I love it, but it also kind of upsets me because he's, he's really good, That's but the he's, problem he's, about yeah. The internet, right? It's <laughs> yeah. So much good stuff. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to cope with. Yeah, but and he's developed a style where his style is very, very, you know, heavily. He's he's an illustrator that's in Rolling Stone and on a regular basis and a bunch of different publications. Um, but he does he's developed a style where it's basically just all about the drawing. Um, it's very sketchy, a lot of lines everywhere, but really solid, solid caricature illustrated work um and then he goes in there with like watercolor and different things and it just has this beautiful energy and life to it and so he's he's been able to basically come up with a style that is that drawing that sketch phase where it's his finished yeah, work yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. where i that's think fantastic yeah yeah and it's and that's one of those things where i see it and i'm just like oh it drives me nuts like i don't know if you've, you've seen the he did a rolling stone cover where um, it's uh, it's it's Donald Trump as a tornado. It's like it's like very sketchy, maybe. Spinny. maybe. But um, any, anyway, you got to look it up. It's really awesome. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that's a really cool thing about your work too. Is that you um, you pump out tons of sketches. But uh, when you, this is what I wanted to ask you about the about that stage was, you, and and this goes back again to. Uh, your your particular style you w when you're about to draw somebody um i mean i probably already know the answer to this most caricature artists probably do but i'm curious about you is when what what do you start thinking is, is do you have like a a set thing or is it just is it like for me i i kind of sometimes i'll start with a nose or the mouth or the head shape uh, i mean i don't it could be so different could be so so it, different. Yeah, it, it, yeah, every yeah. time every time is different. Well, you can start with the head shape, of course, and see the global structure, or start with that. But on the other hand, I can start with an eyelash and keeping in mind where the rest of the head will yeah. come. <laughs> it's it's already here, right? So yeah. So that's what I was going to ask. Is like a lot of times, um, are you do you already kind of before you even put the the pen down to the paper? Are you already seeing it? Yeah, like that's whole, whole in, thing. In, in in the perfect situation, yes. Because <laughs> because uh, you got you've got some. Not like, always, not always. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it happens to me sometimes. Uh, but there's a lot of times where I I kind of like when I look at someone's face, I like I see it in my head already. But sometimes I don't quite know where I'm starting, and I just kind of will just start somewhere. <laughs> And then it just starts to happen. And then there's other times when where you I look work at someone, digitally, it's easier because then you can move your drawing or rescale or size or whatever. Right? But if you do that on paper, you cannot. Afford, yeah, yeah. You cannot afford that. No. I think I think um, I, I draw life too on parties, and because of the fact that you draw a lot in one evening, and you get in the zone so many times. I think um, it's easier to see many things and where to put it on your paper because yeah. Well, recently I've been doing digitally too, but I was trained on paper like most of the, uh, the artists. Yeah. And when you draw live, you cannot afford that 
the face is not totally on your page, for example, right? <laughs> so yeah. if, you, if you want to do an exaggeration, you have to see already where it's going to be on the page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, but it's interesting because you, you make such bold exaggeration choices. And so, like for me, like if, if I don't get to really exaggerate as much as I would like to with a lot of the stuff. Because you work for clients. Yeah, yeah. So there's some, there's some, it, it happens occasionally, you know, when I'm like, they're like, have fun. And then it's like, yes, right. you know, um, uh, but I try to get away with as much as I can, <laughs> you know, you try yeah, to sneak yeah. it, push things a little bit more. Um, but, you know, your, your uh, amount of exaggeration is so, like, I wish that people, publications would just, I don't know. For me, that's caricature. You know, when you get when you get to just experiment, because you really, you know, hey, you want me to do a drawing of of Donald Trump? Um, why? What What's the point? You know, you, if it's a caricature, shouldn't I be able to really push my voice and show you how I feel? But no, we have to be very careful. Yeah, 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 we have yeah. to draw a very careful Donald Trump. It's like, and I'm like, well, I don't understand this. Like, but is, it's, isn't that depending on what kind of me medium you're you're drawing for? I mean, um, no, it, it's been no. strange. It's been strange. I mean, from my experience, anyways. Like when when Donald Trump became president, I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to be so busy. I'm going to be doing so many Donald Trumps for all these publications, and no. It's been like everybody's the, afraid. Or? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, except I, maybe Steve Bronner, right? Yeah, but you see, the, he's, the, the, he's the, only drawing for progressive. Yeah, it, right? so. yeah. Well, and and the thing is, the difference, the reason he is doing that is because he already kind of works with a lot of publications yeah. as as a, a writer. Like he, so he's kind of a journalist in a way, okay. and so he kind of will write articles and then illustrate them. Um, really? Does he do that? Yeah, that's what a lot that's of his things are. Okay. So, so he's got a different like platform altogether. Yeah. But um, yeah, since Trump's been elected, I've I've only been asked to to draw him a couple times, and every single time it's like, be very careful. You yeah, know? because because you draw <laughs> the backside, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, that was an awesome experience that I got to do a cover for Time, and and that they asked me to do caricature i was very surprised because they haven't used caricature on their covers for a while but then um yeah they want to see the backside, you know so that was actually kind of fun because you know doing a caricature from the backside. but that's not originally how i wanted to draw him you know um i had a few different sketches of him that were a lot more extreme because i assumed they wanted me to have fun with and make you know caricature him yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but they were like no, we don't want to like get anybody angry, and so, so that was a little was a little bit interesting. And even Nancy Pelosi, <laughs> that woman has got an amazing face. You you, you drew her really fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but yeah, I had yeah. to like, oh, be very careful. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a woman, right? Yeah, I mean, what <laughs> she to me, she looks like a like a like a skull with just a little bit of skin, you know, uh, and and you know. It's amazing how she how good she still looks for. That age, man. Yeah, I love her eyes, though. How sunken. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. It's like, it's amazing looking. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so your your level of exaggeration is is so much for me, so much more interest interesting. Um, and I I just love when I look at a lot of your more extreme exaggerations, and I, that's what I think about when I see them. Is like, did did he see that exact shape already? before he started or was it um sort of there and you kind of just almost sculpt it like you start sketching it in and you realize ah oh, that's not really working let's just do this because some of the shapes um i find that in in portrait work illustration and caricature the one of the most important things that i try to do is i try to have a, a silhouette that's really yeah. nice looking you know like that this the overall shape where if you've filled it all in and blocked it all in it's interesting already, you know, and uh, it work. It works well even with portrait work if you can kind of do the, like a nice flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so that's one thing I like about your stuff is there's you. There, I, I like the silhouette, you know. You know what I'm not doing? I know 
But you, you talk about it a lot, and uh, I know many people do it, like doing thumbnails. Yeah. I don't do that. You don't do any thumbnails? Never. Yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> you just, why? You just, you just go right Because I'm right. lazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. never do that. It's so funny. Because I, I mean, the first approach will be the best one. <laughs> see, you know what's funny about that is I used to do that. Um, and then years ago. I'm just lazy. Well, it's like what what ended up happening for me was, um, okay, so certain illustrators out there that I'm not going to say who, um, during the Bush administration, that um, that's when I was, that's when I was really trying to get into the illustration world, and so I was paying attention to who, like everybody that's getting published all the time, how are they doing this, and so I started on my journey of how I'm going to do this, um. And so I was just studying all these artists' work, and I noticed a lot of them, they would just draw Bush exactly the same all the time. Like if yeah, yeah. So they would do one cover with him. It's like, oh, that's awesome. And then all of a sudden I'd see them do another cover. It's like they're drawing the exact same proportions and everything over and over and over again. And so it's like they figured out how to – they figured out that person, and then they just stuck with it. And I started like thinking about it, and it's like I don't want to do that. Like, And then what ended up happening is – one time I was drawing I, – I did a bush for um, – I think it was The Week magazine. And I did a really good caricature of him. And I was like, oh, this is this is funny. And I think it's original. It's, it doesn't look like any of these other artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I thought, what if I do another one like based off of it? So I, I basically caricatured my caricature yeah, yeah. and it got, it got more interesting. And then I did it again like real quick. So I started – you know, I realized, oh my gosh, I've just given myself – more you know more to pick from more to choose from now instead of just going with that first thing now it's like all right well it, I, it got better and it got more interesting and I, I got more you know bold with my exaggeration or whatever mm -hmm. so that's why i started doing the thumbnail thing um i don't do it for everything like a lot of times like right now if i get a excuse me i get a job that's due in a couple days i just kind of get in there and just draw it and um so it's not. I don't really do it as as much. No, I as, guess you don't, don't always have the time to do that. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the job. Like, like if if I'm working on someone that, and I don't feel like it's as interesting as it could be, then maybe I'll try to play, you know. But um, yeah. But if I'm doing it for myself, I'll usually do thumbnails because I want to try to see where I can take it, you know. Um, but it's weird. It's different because. Like you said, like a lot, most of the stuff that I'm doing, I'm doing it for, for you know, a client. Okay. So I have to, you know, I have to be a good boy <laughs> a lot of times. So I, so. I pay my, I pay my freedom by not having money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's it really just depends, you know. It's it, I think right now it's a it's a weird time. Um, I don't know, like I've. I've um I've always enjoyed caricature um ever since I was yeah, I think yeah. around 9 or 10 and to me it wasn't it wasn't about it's not about being mean it's about an, an impression and and in, in having fun it's like it's like playing in the, in a in a sandbox you know I'm exploring I'm having fun that's what it's always been and like lately in the last year or so with how sensitive everyone's becoming so super sensitive um, than, yeah, yeah. yeah and I, i've been i've been ha i've had people write me um and you're you're like an asshole like you're you're yeah, such a yeah. like you realize oh, yeah. that that yeah, you make too. a career out of being a bully that's what they said you're just a bully that's all that's all and i'm like what are you talking about and um so there, it's been weird it's been strange i mean i've been threatened twice Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna kill me! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, once with uh, Mother Teresa, <laughs> oh, and uh, another one was uh, Anna Kurnikova, the tennis player. So uh, they didn't do it, but yeah, <laughs> good. That's <great. laughs> um, yeah, that's crazy. That's funny experience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's 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 it. I don't know. It's a it's a it definitely is a strange time. Um, you know, like even like I'm a. I'm, I'm, I've been experimenting with uh, like something I'm really wanting to do is um, trying to do some stand-up comedy stuff uh -huh. because um, I really, really love it. And um, it's it's been something I've always really enjoyed. 
And so I've been working on material and uh, just like trying out different things and, and I'll, I'll try things out on my daughters <laughs> and they're like, you know, that's so offensive, dad. That's so, you know, <laughs> it's like everything's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's the point. I'm supposed to like get you to think about things a little bit yeah, and yeah. that's why it's funny. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's one of those things where in the in, with caricature. Well, if your audience uh, knows what to expect, it's okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, but it, it's fun. It's fun trying trying out stuff on a fifteen year old, seeing what she thinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it is it is an interesting time though. Um, I think good. if you if you if you are stand up comedian, you you don't do that for fifteen year olds. <laughs> no, no. So no, maybe. No, no. <laughs> you should look for another <laughs> or try out audience. <laughs> no, I, I mostly do it just to teaser, you know, I, I mostly try to like just, you know, it's a, like I, I like to come up with the worst dad jokes in the world and just say them because she, she just she'll just be like seriously like I I was driving the other day and I said um, I said, you know what, you know, what I was thinking I think I'm going to start an ant farm. And she's like, what? Why would you do that? I go, yeah, but the problem is, is one of my aunts lives in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and the other four live in Florida. Yeah, yeah. You know, and she's like, dad, this is, it's not fun, you know? So, and then once I get her in an annoying mood, I just keep, I just keep trying to come up with jokes, you know? It's just, it's just dad fun, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, Man, speaking of kids, like your your daughter, I've seen. I mean, I don't know if it's just one or or how many of your kids are doing these drawings, but the drawings of your daughter that you post are insane. Like she's she's amazing. She's okay. Yeah, she's okay. Yeah. She, Nowadays she, she doesn't draw anymore. So. Oh really? It's just like a phase. <laughs> well, I think she's go She she will be drawing again, but um, she used to join my workshop every Saturday, and in those okay. days she was drawing most of the times. But I, I stopped that because I was getting a little bit tired of it. Um, and that, um, well, because of that, she she stopped drawing as well. And that's a oh, bit okay. of shame, but I think it's going to come back. Um, but nowadays, she's, she's um, into um, something. I think it's American. It's called Scratch. It's kind of um, programming hmm. for children. Oh, really? Yeah, that's interesting. It's, it's a free thing, and you can go there a few times in a year, and then it's it's a very simple programming with kind of visual blocks, and huh. she's kind of good at it. Uh, but she, it's also interesting because she can design her own puppets or things that she can huh. make move in the program. So that's okay. Too. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's such a weird time right now too with the, like the, the technology and stuff because kind of like too many things for children. Right? Too yeah, many. I mean my my youngest is uh, like I think nineteen months now, and she she her favorite thing of course is a phone or like a tablet. Yeah. She she knows how to turn it on. She knows how to find yeah. YouTube. She knows how to find her Elmo and everything. Like it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're really fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's really fast. It's nuts. Um, so, um, one thing I was thinking of when I was, when we were talking earlier about your drawings is, was I wanted to also ask you about your cross hatching, uh, because your cross hatching is such a, um, I mean, there's, there's so many different styles of cross hatching. Um, your style in particular is, it just stands out like it's just even like how in the background behind your character, you'll, you'll, you'll do like the, the straight up and down line sometimes. Um, was this a drawing technique that that you learned in school or something, or is this something that you just no. over the years you just started to? I I didn't um, learn really technical things in school, you know. I mean, these things you pick up from other artists, and oh, okay. I think it was built up by David Levine. Oh whose, yeah, yeah. Whose drawings I've been watching when I was a kid. He was in our newspaper. Oh yeah. So I've been following the whole thing with the Kennedys and then Nixon and then Ford and stuff, you know, so that's why I know all, oh. <laughs> all the present stuff <laughs> about that America. Makes, that makes sense. Yeah. David yeah. Levine. That's, oh, yeah. That, it was my because, first big example, man. Because you're, but you, but you, I mean, you're, I don't know of anybody really, I mean, there's a few artists out there 
that I do now. I'm thinking about that that do really really tight cross hatching. I'm 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 far from the best. You know who is the best? Uh, it's it's Mulatier. That's simple. Wait, who? Mulatier, the French guy. Oh, oh, is oh I know who you're talking about. Yes. Jean, Jean Mulatier. <laughs> yes. You must yes. know him. <laughs> oh yes, yes, I do. I do. I do know. I just haven't heard it pronounced that way before. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've probably been saying it wrong the whole time. But you know, yeah. Tell, his, tell me, how do you call him? <laughs> um, uh, how do you say it again? That you said Mulate? Mulatier. Oh, yeah. I don't even know now. Okay. Because <laughs> now, now I'm like influenced too much by how you said it. Yeah. Um, no, but I mean, yeah, yeah. His cross hatching is insane. It's, it's um, really insane. But like when I that, when I was that's one of the reasons that I realized no I can't do it. <laughs> or um um another artist that I really like his cross hatching is um uh is Thierry, Thierry, Thierry yes yes yeah yeah but he's oh, yeah. he's almost as good as as Milatje, but he came after you know so yeah. the first one I saw was Milatje, of course. Oh uh, um, yeah, and that but that's one thing too. Um, I think, but I still think that you have a good a completely. You're, there's just something different about your approach to it, and I think what I like about it is, um, is the cross hatching style. Um, how you 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 communicate so much about the form um, that I mean, I learned a lot from it from from those guys too. You better um, learn from Cuckley. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's like it's like the just like you know like basically when I so when I first discovered your work. And I was like trying to figure out like I, what my style was. I didn't really, you know what I mean. Like you're just basically at that point, just drawing all the time. Um, but you're, you know, I, I always think it's funny when people are like, how do you, how do you get a style? You know, how yeah, do you, yeah, yeah. you know? And I, and so, <laughs> following that, yeah. yeah. And I used to wonder that same thing, and then I realized it just happens after you draw enough. You know, you yeah, start to, yeah. and of course, you're going to be heavily influenced by all kinds of different artists out there. Um, but um. But yeah, I remember just like I remember when like early on when I first saw your stuff, um, I can't remember specifically what piece it was, um, but it was a it was a um, at like I thought that you were doing like a lot of um, like I guess what I'm trying to say is I didn't realize it was cross hatched like some of the drawings that were like super super tight. I thought it was almost like it almost it was so smooth. No that it kind of, yeah it, was, yeah, it would just seemed like Smudging. almost like, <laughs> yeah, like I didn't realize when I was looking at it, I was like, With my finger until later, um, you know, so I started trying to mimic like that kind of style too. Like I was getting like, um, I was taking at that time, I think Q tips and, um, I would, you know, shade in an area and then take the Q tip and just soften it and I would just build and build and build. Um, you have to help me. What is Q tip? The clean your ears with a Q-tip. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's that's um, one of the only things that I really tell the, the students. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. You can yeah. do that later, but not in my lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but that's the thing. is that's um. So when I was first like looking at your stuff, I was like, that's what I, I thought. Maybe that's no, what he I, does. I, I, I don't know. Because if you do that to, to pencil... Mm. You the color changes, you know? yeah, and and all the the the, the interesting white spaces be, be between the hatching and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's so I don't do that. So, but when I when I saw that, you're I, that's what I thought because I didn't realize that it was just what it actually was was super 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 fine yeah. just lines. Mm. So it was interesting. Um, same thing happened when uh, with Ishmael Rolden. Um, he for years I was like trying to figure out what his technique was and and I was I was seeing his work on the computer screen and I was seeing it in in you know publications and um and so I was teaching myself how you to mean paint the black and white stuff or no, color color stuff like and, um, golden yeah and I and I was teaching myself how to like paint like as as close to that as I could. And then one time, uh, one year, he sends me a couple of his originals as a gift, and I, I saw them in person, and I'm like, "What? Yeah, it was so much more loose than what I thought. It was, you know, it was way more um, like I, because I was looking at publications, I was looking at small things where, you know, so basically, I was teaching myself how to paint way tighter than mm -hmm. what he was doing, 
So it's, it's interesting when you, in t- until you can actually see an original in person and realize, oh my gosh, that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's a weird way to you know to to learn. You know, if you don't like, I recently saw Rockwell in person um, about a week or so ago, and I got to I got to go right up to it. You could see everything. It's just like, oh man, I see what he's doing. Who you know, do it's you just, prefer, Rockwell or Lane Decker? Uh, that's, <laughs> that's a hard one. Yeah. I like Line Decker a lot. Yeah, me too. Um, I think it was technically more advanced. Yeah, his, his um, yeah, Line Decker's. I don't know. I haven't seen any of his originals though. I love I'd like them to both, see one. Yeah. With Line Decker, it's like, oh my he, god. Yeah, his. <laughs> I, I think I think you'd have to say Line Decker just because. He kind of was the one that influenced Rockwell. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he, so his style was so influential. And um, yeah, I I don't know. I, I I would like to see some originals. That's that's for sure. There must be um, museums somewhere, right? Over there. I haven't I, seen. I haven't there seen. There is any. one of. Yeah, Rockwell has one, right? Yeah, I've never. I haven't seen that either. It's on the East Coast, oh. but um, the uh, the Rockwell painting that I just saw was like, um, it's a small painting. It's like maybe. You know, maybe only like this big. It's not very, um, and, but at the museum I was at, you can just go right up to it. So I was just look, just that close, looking at the. You know, you can see the underpainting. You can see some sketch lines, um, and basically it was really cool because all the shadow areas, like the, the hair and everything, was just very yeah, thin, down. like like an umber, very thin. Um, and basically everywhere where the light hit, that's where he was getting you know opaque with his paint. Um, but it was pretty amazing, you know, to see that just like, oh, he makes it look so easy. Yeah. yeah but that, that's, that's, all, that's interesting. Um, you know, being able to see the stuff in person. Um, I just got, to, I went to a Bougaro show. Um, the one I, it's sa- same, uh, same. That's museum. one of the names that you see really a lot these days, right? Bougaro. Oh yeah. Well, it well, it's interesting because a bunch of my, um, artist friends, all went like it was in Milwaukee, which is very close to Chicago. And um, Tom Fluharty went from Minneapolis yeah. to the to the museum. Uh, my friend Grigor, he where, went. That's where I saw all these comments. Yeah. yeah, he went. He went three three weekends in a row oh, really? uh, to to see it. Um, yeah, it was it was an amazing show to see. It was just it was just amazing how many paintings he did, and the scale, the size, and just. Um, yeah, it was pretty jaw dropping seeing that up close. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see. Um, there's there's a lot of artists that, um, you know, you, that I haven't gotten to see up close. You know, probably. <laughs> I mean, I I mean, I got to go. I've, there, I've been to as many art museums as possible. You know, I try to see as much as I can. Um, but like a lot of the museums don't let you get like right up there. You know, uh, so that was cool about the Milwaukee Art Museum is. They, it's kind of weird. Like I felt nervous taking photos and stuff, because a lot of museums are like kind of crazy yeah, about yeah. it. But you could go right up to these paintings. I mean, right up to them, and you could see like uh, from different angles. You could, yeah. Oh, you can see like some of the underpainting through some of his paintings. Really? It was <laughs> like, huh, it was amazing. I mean, to be that close, because you know, like literally, I you, I can almost put my nose on it. <laughs> It's like this. This seems illegal. I don't know how we're doing, this, <laughs> but it was it was pretty cool. Um, so, uh, uh, speaking of uh, you know original drawings and everything, are you going to be able to go uh, to the uh, ISCA convention this year at all? Probably not this year. Probably not this year. I probably I'm still in the, how do you call that the sickness holidays. Oh, so I I have a hard time to go anywhere <laughs> oh yeah, yeah 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 maybe next I, year yeah I, I haven't gone for a long time i just been busy with stuff and i was kind of thinking about doing it this year just because it's it's not in, because uh, it's memphis right well memphis is is, is a little <laughs> bit easier to drive to from uh, okay. where i'm at not because of the elvis thing right? oh no no, <laughs> no I, I don't really care about i love tennessee though tennessee's a great state yeah. um but uh I was thinking about doing it. I don't know. I'm trying to. It's it's all about planning and stuff. Because you should go. Why not? Yeah, I want to go. Um, I haven't. I. I want to go and just have fun and draw and stuff. I don't want to go and teach or anything like that. Yeah. Just yeah. because I've done that a lot. Um, and I haven't 
I haven't gotten to, to go there and just have fun. That's um, what I did in Vienna this year, right? Just yeah. participate and have fun and no one oh, stress. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Vienna I, is kind of uh, filling the gap for me. Yeah. I'd like to go back to that again, too. That's and much that's, cheaper um, for me. <laughs> the flight. Yeah. No, it's and it's so it's so great. Like I, everyone there is so awesome. Like, yeah, yeah. Everyone's so Very nice. Very good organization. Yeah. yeah. Um. So there's a bunch of people that did that that did drawings of you. Um. Like normally. Yeah, I saw I saw a few, but I didn't react because I know you're. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, it's it's like people are so excited they want to show their stuff, but it's like you know, as part of what I like to do is like like to surprise them so they can. You know, see it for the first time. That's part I think of the. I fun. made the same mistake, right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think there's like 42 or 43. So I'll try to go through them quick. Um, but yeah, it's 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 always fun to see what what it, people end up doing here. Do you you don't see this? Yes, I see that one. I know that one. <laughs> All right, so you do see it. Okay, that's not uh, a new one. No, no, no. This one, yeah, this is by Walter Talp, and uh, he. Uh, yeah, he he told me that it was like one that he did before, but yeah, it's a good one, really good one. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, he's he's incredible, man. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love. I mean, he's basically, still, still evolving in his style and still open for new things. He's such a great guy. Oh yeah, no, he's amazing. Um, here's one by Ray Shipman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> It's interesting. It is. Um, uh, now, th okay. now this is weird because okay, I got it. You're gonna tell me every time who did it, right? Oh yeah, this one is by Dominic Zeilinger. Um, okay. I think you met him. I think he went to Vienna. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but here's what's what's weird, is I think this is great. Like I, this is funny, very creative, but uh, there at least two or three different people sent in caricatures of you made out of food. Why? <laughs> Pro yeah. Well, it's, anyway, it's vegetarian, that, so that's okay. Yeah, but so that's I was like, <laughs> is there like so, is, is there yeah, something must... I, I didn't know? Like, like yeah, me too. <laughs> so that's very strange. Uh, this one is by Laurent Grassat. I don't know the name. Laurent. Laurent. Yeah, Gras Grassat. Yeah. Croissant. Yeah. Grassat. It's yeah, G R O. S S A T. Mm -hmm. I'm probably saying it completely wrong. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a good one. Like, <laughs> kind of look like a like a like a mafia gangster. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, <laughs> I can cope with anything. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. This is uh, by Jack uh, Lamanier. That's a very good one. Very funny. <laughs> Looks like you fell asleep uh, on on the, the side of your the, face. The penis nose, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's awesome. right, you know, with the nose, because my nose is like this, you know. Yeah. That's very, funny. Very, very funny. Um, this one's by uh, Tyler Font uh, Fontes. I don't know. But, I don't yeah, I'm. A, I'm. I, I really have a hard. I say everyone's name wrong. I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. Uh, this one's by Marcos Gamiro. I don't know him, maybe, but it's a very, really, very nice drawing. Very sophisticated expression. It is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, this, these are some drawings by uh, Alfred Wright. Um, and uh, I think. Well, I think very I, polite. Mr. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's the one. Yeah, this it was funny as the uh, this was originally the, they sent me they just took a picture of it um, on a table not straight on but at a weird angle. You, you <laughs> and I, and I was like, a little bit. you know, I was like, yeah, can you take a different yeah. picture so we can see it? Uh, okay. <laughs> but that's just funny. <laughs> uh, this is cool. This is Sam Luther. Yeah, this is cool. looks like uh, maybe gouache or acrylic or something. Yeah, like that. I think so. Yeah. Very nice. Moleskin. Oh well, here's another. This one's not food. <laughs> it's I, it's I not guess. food. <laughs> but it's but it's like still weird shapes of like. Un, like yeah, it's, still, it's recognizable. And I, well, yeah. it's funny that he played with the shadow. If it's yeah, maybe it's coincidence. I don't think it's coincidence. 
Yeah, no, it's it's very interesting. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, re- I remember it uh, incorrectly. It wasn't food, but still. Yeah. Do you know uh, Isn't that- Agnes, Agnes Jacqueline from France? Yes. In Vienna, in Vienna? She's very skilled in these techniques too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is awesome. So she does this kind of stuff on a, like normal. Yeah, 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 oh, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's pretty cool. awesome. I like man. the color of my glasses. It's almost yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. It's very cool. <laughs> I love this oh, one. Oh. This is by Kiko Yamada. Oh, Kiko. Yeah. She evolved so much lately. Yeah, yeah. This is really cool. She was very good in Vienna too. Oh my god. She made some really, really great drawings. Yeah, I, I, I'm a big <laughs> fan. I love it, man. See the dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's so good. good. Yeah, like, it, it is. It, it, I'm, I'm <laughs> just having fun. <laughs> oh man, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, this one's pretty cool too. I, I know that style. <laughs> yeah. Um, Salak Kudari. Yeah. Kudari. He was yeah. in Vienna. Very nice and a very oh. good artist. I love his work. Yeah, it's I really it's really nice. Nice work. It is. Yeah. He really has a style. <laughs> yeah. So. It's awesome. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, this is by Guy Kiernan. And wait. Yeah, I Kiernan or Kiernan. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong too. <laughs> uh, this one is by Theodosis. I know the style. Yeah. Yeah, from Vienna. Theodos. Oh, he's man! Everyone's from Vienna. Yeah, we call him Theo. <laughs> Theo. Yeah, Theo. Yeah, yeah. Theodosis. I think he went to a workshop of Tom Richmond. Oh, cool! That's cool. Yeah, Was I that... met him a few times in uh, in Vienna now. I think. Oh, okay. Was, I think. Very nice. So, but... so that was uh, the, the, Tom's. Tom did a workshop in Vienna. I don't know if it was in Vienna, maybe in, I don't know. He's from Greece, but uh, oh, okay. could have been Germany. I don't know where, where, where that particular workshop was. Hmm. Very nice. Uh, this one's by really funny too. <laughs> yeah. Ed Travers did this one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Very cool. See, it's kind of, it's kind of doing like, like your little your background, or background well, shading there. I didn't there. want to say it, but you said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see many yeah. people do that. Yeah, yeah. That's it's. A... <laughs> um, and speaking of Thierry, this is one by him. No, no. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you kidding yeah. me? Oh yeah. my! I didn't expect it. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> oh my God, that's an understatement. <laughs> yeah, Whoa, yeah, I'm blown away. I really <laughs> like the. Uh, I'm really um, oh my God! Did I you like... mention the technique? Oh, it looks, it's a it's digital, digital painting. Yeah, um, it's digital, right? Yeah, yeah. I see a little bit, yeah. What I really like about Shoot. this one, too, is that I like the soft shadowing in the in the ear there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very nice. And the the blue color coming back in, in the beard a little bit. Yep. Here. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> okay, stop, cut. <laughs> what? what? No, it's, it's too good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so and this next one is by uh, Re- Regina Vetter. Oh yeah, yeah, from Vienna. <laughs> wow, getting all the Viennas. Yeah, yeah, a very good friend of mine. <laughs> She's getting better and better. That's uh, awesome. Regina. <laughs> Regina in German. Regina. She, actually, she's from Switzerland. Oh okay. Very nice person. Regina. <laughs> 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 what is it? <laughs> This, this is pretty funny. This is by is. Uh, Tahir, Tahir um, Ala, um can't pronounce your last name, Iji. I, I cannot. See. It's, it's a little bit slow. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'll try to pronounce your last name, but it's it's going to be okay. really I, bad. You, so. you cannot even pronounce my last name. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, a yeah. funny one. Funny one. That, yeah. that is an interesting, very interesting last name. Okay. Uh, this is. I, the, I know I, that style. Don't tell me. Yeah. It's the cook. <laughs> the chef. It's. Do you know who who did it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I I recognize his style. Lars. Uh, Lars Eric Robinson. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said he didn't have so much time, so he, did, he but he wanted to do something, so he did like a 
a quick a quick sketch. Um, uh, very funny too. Yeah, this is by Dustin Clark. Ah, my Jehovah friend. <laughs> yeah, this is a um, you know this is a cool style. Um, I know him online. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met him uh, at the convention, and uh, one of the last evenings, I had a lot of work to 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 do to get my work done there. <laughs> and he came to me, and we we were just talking about God, and <laughs> so I was totally dis disturbing his world, I guess. But anyway, we we <laughs> <laughs> kind of became friends, and he kept talking to me all night, and I could work. So he kept he's, me awake. Uh, he's not gonna like my stand-up comedy. Uh, well, he's kind of <laughs> open for things, you know, but he has his beliefs, so I respect that, and uh, yeah, he respects my points of view. But we, we're still in contact, and I react on his drawings. He's, he's teaching, too. So Yeah, I like this. Very nice this family. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's good. I love it. Well, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Who did it? Grizzly? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's the funniest one so far. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah this one. Uh, this That's one. Why made everybody me, uh... wants to draw me? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's great. pretty awesome. Funny, right? <laughs> or am I the only one who think it's funny? No, it's. I think it's hilarious. It is. It is. <laughs> my god! What a beautiful collection. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one is by Teppo uh, Jarvi. I think yeah. I'm filming. So, man, this is awesome. We're getting all the all the Europeans on here. It's from Finland, I think. Don't kill uh, me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah, this one is uh, Ken Coogan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it works. Yeah, yeah, he's good. He does some really yeah, cool yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a, a few really great ones. Suddenly, bah! I thought, where is he popping up from? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome, man. You can really tell too that he just absolutely just loves drawing, you know. I love the sketchy thing in it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. This one's awesome. This is by Sebastian Martin. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect, right? I know his work too. Yeah, this is. I, really I cool. admire that. I can never do that. Yeah, it's a, it's, <laughs> it's this is a great. Um, again, this kind of reminds me of Risco a little bit. Yeah, that, I yeah, don't know if you know. But uh, it, but still, it has its own thing going on. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Very I, creative. It's work from I think it was at the last convention, or before he was second or third at the noses. So, oh really? Such a good work. I I just saw it online, but it was really cool. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> this is uh by Martin <laughs> or Man Manny. Sorry, Manny. Event. Manny, really? Yeah. <laughs> Seth oh, Perfect, See, right? Yeah, and he and he's uh he's doing your background again, but in his in a yeah way. in his own way he's making fun <laughs> yeah. of actually he's making fun of me. Yeah, <laughs> which is perfect. Oh, yeah, God. that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't have to choose one, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. My God, I have three in mind so far. <laughs> um, so uh, Dwayne Stockton did this one. I you don't have to choose. Um, you don't have to choose now. Uh, no. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it later. Um, yeah, this is by Dwayne Stockton. Yep. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. I have a little bit more time. And you can show your kids and get a good laugh. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> it's the uh, weekend, so. <laughs> it's it's like uh, <laughs> the child of me and Ted Barney. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. That's a good yeah, <laughs> Ted Barney and. You didn't no, no, know no, this, Dad. We had the baby. That's <laughs> yeah. so good. Um, this is by Jeremy M. I, I I don't know what the last name was. It just said M. So I'm not sure. I only know one Jeremy, and that's Jeremy Townsend. So that's not the Yeah. Name. No, that's not him. No. This one's funny, too. <laughs> I think that's kind of a technique. I think it's... No, I don't know. I don't want to say it. Okay, tell me. Who did it? Adita Bahaster. Say again? Uh, Adita. Adita. Ah, German name? I don't know. It sounds like last name is Bahauser, but I'm probably saying it really, really wrong. Well, <laughs> it's very, very funny. I have a big forehead. Yeah. I think most people are very gentle with me. I expected really cruel drawings. 
<laughs> no, everyone loves you. Yeah, um, yeah. Why? Because you're awesome. This, Why? you know, what this almost reminds me of um, of Klaus when he's when he's your age. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's not a so little, bad. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is cool. This is uh, Jonathan Groot. That's I think so cool. I think cool it's technique. gouache. Cool illustration technique. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it it, uh, it reminds me of something, but I, I'm kind of blanking a little <laughs> bit. Um, so ah, funny too. That's also fun. A really yeah. great expression. Who did it? This is by um, Ali Al um, Samaki. Yeah, I think I know him. Yeah, not person, but not in person. But in and uh, <laughs> this, this was. <laughs> <laughs> I had the brain surgery, I think, and they yeah. cut away my hair. This is, uh, yeah, this is by Jason Jones. Jason Jones. Um, I think, yeah, I think he's in. I think he's in England. I, th I think that's where he lives. Okay, uh, I can find him. Yeah, <laughs> really nice guy. Um, this one cracks. This is Daniel Stieglitz. Oh my goodness! <laughs> my goodness! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah. So, you know him, right? Yeah, I, I don't. I haven't met him um, in person, but I. Uh, oh, um, fuck! I've why met... did he have the fart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least at least it's in key. You know, it's. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell that it's in key? <laughs> yeah, it's like. I, I have think to that's... check the kanji. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Again, with the cross hatching on the ground, there, everyone's like, "There's the cross hatching stuff." I like his style a lot, though. It's very oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's doing amazing things on oh, con yeah. at conventions. <laughs> oh yeah, his I love his his style a lot. Um, yeah, some of the the stuff I've seen kind of reminds me of a little bit Jack Davisy type. Um, uh, tell know. Stieglitz he has to work hard to get that level. <laughs> <laughs> Stieglitz. Stieglitz, keep working. Keep working. <laughs> no, but his his stuff's great though. It's really yeah, nice. Um. So this one uh, is by Hu uh, Juan a Bogo, I think. Um, Bogo? It's a Bogo. Um, so the what's it say? Car I don't no, know what he's saying. Can you say it? Sure. Say it fast. Can you say it fast? I don't know. Can I, the, the I think I'm missing what's the going point. on. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, it's from ah, okay. Oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> this is by uh, Chibuki Clement. Um, I don't know I, if I said. I, that. I love the left hand. Yeah. This is. I mean, you're eating paint, I guess. <laughs> ah, it looks like a vampire. But, right? Yeah, but it. What's interesting is you sort of look like a pope. Like it looks uh, like you're yeah, like yeah. wearing like a pope clothing or something. Uh, yeah, it looks like that, actually. Yeah, so I'm wondering if I'm missing some, like, there's like a secret message or something. I guess so. Va vampire Pope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this this one is by um, Hamad Kabara. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like those lips. Yeah, yeah. It's like a vortex. <laughs> it's almost like, like a black hole. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come near or yeah. I'll suck you up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one's I, by I, Ari. I've oh, you know that one. He posted Ari it on Facebook. Who, who naughty, naughty. Ari Jordan. Yeah, it's funny. Ooh. Some nice character in the mouth. Yeah, he has a. He, he got a lot of good comments on Facebook. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> uh, this one is by uh, Guy Barbosa. I think Guy or Guy. I don't know how you say that. Yeah, it depends where he's coming from. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one's pretty funny, too. Oh. oh. This is by Gen C Fries. That's very <laughs> funny. <laughs> I, love, I just love that nose, man. Yeah. It's so... It's so uh, <laughs> Overwhelming. <laughs> Is it a dick or is it balls? I can't tell. Like, what's going on? <laughs> it's got both both things happening. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this is cool too. This is yeah, by uh, yeah. Fernando Mendez. Yeah, but this 
It's a very nice uh, illustrated style. I like the the yeah. style. Style. Yeah. style like, yeah. yeah, it's it's kind of cool. I'm really uh, having a good time here. <laughs> uh, this is Juan Gastelum that did this one, and it's interesting too. Um, yeah. yeah, it's like it's weird because there's like no. I wonder well, if looks... he's always drawing like this with this line. No, this is different because he he's uh, he sent in uh, work before and it's different okay. than this. So, so just trying different things, I think. That's good. Uh, this one is by Ricardo Vasquez. It's <laughs> <laughs> interesting okay. too. And uh, this is the last one. This I is... saw I saw this one today. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah, it's Bertrand Dole. Yep. <laughs> I know him you really say way, well. You say it way better than I do. <laughs> say it again. Bertrand Dolé. Bertrand Dolé. Dolé. He's a judge. Right. He's what? A judge. A, a <laughs> ju he's a judge? Yeah, in France. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, we met a couple of times at many conventions. Yeah. That's very, awesome. Very, very, very nice guy. I wonder if that's why this kind of looks like a courtroom drawing a little <laughs> bit. Maybe. They, has it, has that kind of style? Many, many materials. He's always combining, trying new new things. But I love this one a lot. Yeah, it's really good. It's it's yeah. it's solid, nice. solid, yeah. solid. I like it. I like, like a rock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't mess with me. Yeah. I don't break your face with my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Wow. Are we? Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Business. Okay. Um, so uh, I've got a few questions uh, from people as well. So I wanted to, to uh, do those with you. Uh, let's see here. Um, <laughs> I'm just having so, fun. Yeah. This is a uh, – this one is by uh, uh, Gen C. Fries, and I'm going to play this. So tell me if you can hear this. Hi, Mr. Jan. My name is Jancy Ferreiras, and my question is, what defines a good caricature? What? Oh. You said, what defines a good caricature? Hmm. Two, two things, likeness and funny, being funny, for me. Likeness and being funny. Yeah. Well, yeah. Humor. There must be some humor in it. I mean, yeah. Li likeness is a, a portrait is likeness, too. And uh, well, I think caricature adds the the funny part. Yeah, sometimes portraits can be pretty funny too, though. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and caricatures can be really serious as well. Yeah. Um, but, and yeah, let's... technique also. But I mean, first place likeness. Uh, you can do what you want, but if if your drawing doesn't look like the person, <laughs> oh, this is so... something wrong, right? But I love it when 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 it's funny. Funny doesn't have to be be hilarious or situation. I can enjoy a really funny distortion or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it. It can. I mean, there's so many different elements. I mean, but basically, though, I there. I think that a lot of people that are into caricature art. They, it's like exaggeration is for them the most important thing. And if it's not exaggerated like a ton, then it's not a caricature. Um, but I think the problem with that is, is there's a lot of caricatures that I see that are, well, that's amazing exaggeration, but it looks nothing like the person. They like it loses it. So I think that um, the key are you, I'm, is I'm just talking about digital stuff. No. No. What do you mean? Because what I what I what I see recently, you know, I'm a dinosaur, so I've seen everything <laughs> evolving. I see so many digital caricature work that I think about, like, oh, he has been working a lot of time on the, investing a lot of time in this drawing, and it's really technically okay, but something's lacking, right? Like missing. And then at that moment, I would like to see the initial drawing he made. He started with. Oh, I see. What and, you're saying. and I think in that case, you see, it's a bad, bad start, bad drawing. Oh, so you're saying like, you know, with with some digital drawings, like 
you you can like use the the computer to manipulate the drawing to stretch no, it and stuff like that. Not really to, like, manipulate. Fi if, fix if it. If you keep working, 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 it's like like if you take a really bad drawing and you would make kind of an overlay with the 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 thing the the, the photo things and you could put put the overlay on the bad drawing. It would start like looking like the person because you, the fill in is correct, right? But the, the structure is totally wrong. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I was basically just saying though that like it, you know, I think that of course likeness is the most important, and once you lose that, it's just doesn't. It's not. It's not a care. It's not a good caricature anymore. <laughs> I mean, exactly. Joe Blue I mean, told told me the same thing. Yeah, we agree on that. <laughs> oh, and speaking of, he was supposed to. He's. I'm gonna yell at him. He was supposed to leave a, a nice message for you. Ah, uh, he's a very so, nice. <laughs> I love. I, I love that dude. Oh. Um, so uh, so this is a question from Hamad Kabara. Uh, so again, uh, his question. Let's see. Uh, was what's the difference from your point of view between digital sketching and traditional sketching? Um. I think traditional sketching is um, more difficult in a way that um, everybody can see more easily if your drawing has nice lines in the sketchy phase of the drawing, no matter what you do afterwards with it. Um, so I, th I still think digi uh, um, paper drawing is more genuine, the sketch, mm -hmm. you know, sketch. Um, I like sketching digitally, but it, what makes it more easy for me is that you can reposition your drawing and that I told you before and yeah. put it in a nice composition or whatever. But the, the, the most difficult thing about di digital drawing is to make it vivid, right? That it's not cold, you have to make it warm, kind of. The thing that you have with watercolor or with pencil, it's it's really hard to have it digitally, um, so it's easy. It's more easy to to use, but it's more difficult to make it look good. Yeah, digital yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah, I think too. Like the there, it. I think it's important um, if you're going to do a lot of digital drawing and painting that. Um, you uh, don't abuse the computer, you know, yeah, try, yeah, yeah. try to try to like, because I, I mean, I try I, I have to do a lot of digital stuff. Um, I, I do. But I also work in oils and watercolor and that sort of a thing. Yeah. Um, but because of crazy deadlines, I, I, you know, I taught myself how to do digital work. And I think it's really important for me per personally. Um, it's really important that, you know, I, I want it to feel like a piece of art. I don't want it to be like, I don't want it to look super, super digital, you know, and that's, it's kind of tricky sometimes. It is. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's a nice so, thing when I look at your work really close, you can still see the brushes, right? That's very nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually doing, um, uh, it's really interesting. Uh, so uh, my last, my guest last week was this musician, Sun Little. Yeah. Um, and, we had such a good time and everything, and and then uh, later he asked me if I would work on his <laughs> new album cover. Oh, so wow. so I'm working on his his album cover right now, um, and I'm hoping he's gonna like it. He likes the sketches so far, but I only have less than a week to do it, so it's kind of crazy. But I I was I'm doing it digitally, but I'm I I kind of created a whole brand new technique that I've never done before, um, and it's. It's one of those things where I think it's really important if you're going to be working digitally to experiment and don't forget to be an artist. You know, don't forget yeah, yeah, to, because yeah. um, I think a lot of people can rely on it too much as a crutch. Um, but uh, I started doing this interesting thing where I'm to to uh, shade, uh, to do any kind of shading. I'm, um, I, I've, I've got I found this brush that just sprays like a canvas texture. Oh, yeah. And so I will fill in a section. Spray like this canvasy texture, then erase around so it fits his clothing and everything. Okay. And then I use, then I'm using the eraser to draw with, where okay. I draw, I, I 
have Scrape, a color underneath. Scraper board. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, but I'm doing that in several different uh, layers, oh, yeah. and it's, it's creating this whole texture and this really unique nice. uh, yeah. thing that I've never done, and it's I'm having fun. I'm like, oh, this is like a new, yeah, yeah. A new nice. approach. approach, and it feels yeah, yeah. more illustrated, which is cool. Um, it gives it because he wants it to be sort of abstract, you know. So, okay. um, so there was one more question for you. This was um, this this next one is by Adita, and uh, hopefully, let's see. Let's see if this works because it was okay. I think it's gonna work. Hi, First of all, I'm a huge fan of yours. Sir. I mean, uh, you are an inspiration to me. And uh, my question for you is: Have you encountered any problems with the face uh, that is more difficult to caricature? I mean, I was having trouble lately with simple faces. I don't know what to exaggerate. Um, so can you give, can you give any tips to sort of overcome this habit or something? I mean, that uh, you know. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's kind of hard to understand I, a little bit. I like the background. How did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he was saying um, he's been having a hard time with exaggeration um, and how what to exaggerate and how and if you have any tips on on that sort of a thing. That's, that's, that's what I got out of it anyways. <laughs> I think it's important. Um, if you, if you have this problem that you copy the masters and I'm not talking about myself, but you, it's not a, it's not a wrong way to start drawing or in general or drawing caricatures. Mm -hmm. You can, you can copy drawings that you like, right? that you admire, or where you think everything's okay. And I think uh, that's a good school for learning. And if you, if you draw them a lot, it's it's always the same. You have to draw a lot, right? <laughs> yeah. Also, also when it's about exaggeration, you don't learn just by looking, by watching. You have to do it yourself. And I think uh, I think it was Yanni Wu who said to me. When she has a new artist, maybe not anymore now, but a few years ago, when there was an apprentice artist, they had to copy 100 of my drawings <laughs> before oh they my. could do anything else. <laughs> That's but I don't crazy. Think they, they took a wrong example to copy, but it's a good principle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That's, uh, but I mean, I think that's in, in general, I mean, I, I kind of think that... Um, I mean, I think with any artwork, this kind of works. Yeah. But with you caricature, have to start somewhere, right? Yeah. yeah, but and but with caricature, it's like the only way I really think is that you're gonna get it is by failing a bunch of times. You yeah, know, like yeah. like I think that it's that struggle is really important, and I think that the only way that you're going to 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 get good at anything is learning how not to do it. You know, so, um, I mean, and, and, and even with when it comes to exaggeration, there's there there's not really wrong ways. Um, it's it's only wrong if it doesn't look like the person, you know, mm -hmm. like, but it's just I think you just got to jump in the water and start swimming, you know, just That's right. like, you know, just do it, you know. And I mean, and the, the crazy thing is, is the difference between now and when I first started doing all this stuff is there's the Internet now. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's just so much there's so much awesome art out there um so many I artists think it makes it easier for starting artists because how should i say that let's suppose you have a, a father who has is a fantastic artist well known all over the place and you're you're his kid i think many children would say i am not gonna do that because i'm not getting as good as he is Right? Mm. So sometimes it's better not to see all these good things uh, <laughs> and try to climb your way out um, and yeah. hoping that some other people will encourage you, you know, instead yeah. of showing all these fantastic drawing of other people <laughs> <laughs> that well, you cannot reach I, at that moment. Right? So. Yeah, I mean, I just mean that there is there's there's enough um, there's enough uh, influence out there. There's enough. 
um, you know, there's so many, there's so many artists out too, there too many. that, yeah, like, I mean, it's like it's, too many news too, right? Too many yeah. news. Well, it's like it's like going on Instagram. I, I'm I'm always finding some artists I never heard of before, and they're just yeah. insane. I'm like, whoa, like you know, there's so many awesome painters, and um, but I mean, ultimately, it's you you we all have to go on our own journey, um, you know, and and we all have our own voice, and so it's just you know, some it, my dad used to tell me, um, because I used to get really really frustrated, um. I was always comparing myself to my dad as you know, and, and I felt a lot of pressure to, to have to be good and I would get angry and I would, I would cry and I would just get, you know, pissed off when I couldn't draw something. Um, and so basically when I, you know, when I was trying to figure out painting and, and drawing and everything, but painting, he told me that, uh, you're going to have to do at least 500 bad paintings before you start to really get I have it. many more yeah <laughs> it's, and it's like and it's like but when he when he said that it was like so discouraging but yeah. at the same time it also kind of made me feel like well i better get started <laughs> you know, yeah, i better yeah, start yeah. just start so doing it really good motivation <laughs> yeah just start doing it because it's like um you know the, the no one i mean you can have a teacher that that's amazing um and you can look up artists that are amazing but they're not going to do any of it for you, you know, so you just got to do it. You know, that's what that's what I think anyways. I mean, I my daughter is, uh, you know, she's in an art programs now in high school. And uh, uh, there's a couple times where like their their teachers, I don't think they're really giving them demos. They're just giving them like charcoal and uh, and tone paper and they want them to just draw their, themselves. And I so, hate it when, when yeah. teachers don't demonstrate. Anything. Yeah. It's yeah. terrible. Um, it's the same so thing I, here. Yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, I basically I just try to explain to her, um, you know, I try to like, I try to teach her proportions and, and um, how to look for the shapes. Like, you know, don't just look at the shape of the eye, look at the negative space between the eye and the eyebrow and that sort of a thing. Like I'm trying to get her to look at these things and it's a lot of measuring and, and a lot of um, you have to think about lighting and uh, and all these different. So I, I you know tried teaching of these things and you know and I realized towards the end that I almost basically did the whole drawing for her. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah yeah yeah. Because <laughs> I because I keep I was going like um, you know but I was excited because she's never really asked me to show her anything before. You, you know had a, you had a good time. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. It's like she's showing I get to show her how to do this. You know. Um, but uh, but I think, you know, ultimately you have to learn it on your own. You have to struggle, and you know that's that's just the way I think everything is. You know, music, anything. You and know, it never stops. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said before, this whole uh, this this comedy thing that I'm I'm interested in right now, I've always been interested. But um, I'm in a couple of weeks. I'm going to a place where you're, you're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, but I only get if if I get picked out of the bucket, it's like this thing, okay. and um, so I I've, I've been I only you only get one minute to perform, um, and I have been I have come up with about five different minutes, so I have a, I, I'm not sure exactly what minute I'm gonna do yet, but then I'm like rewriting them and rewriting them, and then yeah. and then I change the order of the punchline or whatever, <laughs> and I they're trying all different it's kinds of things, it's and, yeah, and it's like this is really hard, <laughs> like. Yeah. So, but it's like, no one's going to do it for me. I have to figure it out. And if I want to do it, I got to, you know, put time in the work and yeah. I have to practice delivering the lines and, and I um, guess you have more than 24 hours in a day. How do you yeah. do that? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of do it like in between, like my lunch break, I'll start okay. typing and, um, and then, um, I practice saying things and I'm trying to, but like I said, it, it's just to write one minute of comedy is like yeah. really hard. Um, Hey, I'll I'll leave you with uh with uh, uh, with one joke that um, my daughter hates because I think <laughs> so I say um every time I go to a grocery store they ask me if I want paper or plastic I always say plastic because fuck dolphins <laughs> it's only funny to me. <laughs> <laughs>
Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the joke. Okay, is, now I get. It. Now I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah because yeah, fuck yeah. dolphins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because everyone Sorry, loves. A little yeah. bit slow. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's it's a it's a plastic poisoning the ocean joke. I, I understand. It. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, everybody loves dolphins, but that's why it, it makes me laugh. Yeah. But that's <laughs> no, um, but yeah. So it's it's that's one thing. Like just like that, like people that want to do, it. <laughs> yeah. But but people in in every art form, uh, there there's you have to I think struggle and fail in order to succeed. I mean that's just the way it is. Um, you know, I, even even with like becoming a lawyer or a doctor or anything. I mean, you know what I mean. So, anyways. Uh, hopefully that answered the question. <laughs> um, but hey, thank you what so much. What a um, yeah, thank you so much for uh, for chatting with me. It's it's you know, I ho hopefully I can make it o over to Vienna again one of these years because um, I really miss everybody there. It it's just a uh, it's an awesome time. I always I always feel so sad when I see you guys posting all the pictures and everything. Like oh, that's the thing about a convention, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's so much lately, fun. Lately, there are always four or five of them coming to the United States convention. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. No, it's good. Yeah, anybody out there that wants to go, you should go to the conventions. They're, they're a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, like I said, I'll send you uh, those drawings. You can look at them again with your yeah, family. That's a, that's a really a difficult thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have a few in mind that... Yeah. There is some criteria, right? I mean, no, like no, the, the, no the best one or the the funniest one, or it's not <laughs> always the same. You know? yes. Whatever one, I I have nothing to do with it. I wash yeah. my hands of this stuff. Okay, that's so. that's <laughs> easy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. And All right. Thank you. Everybody sees the drawings. Oh yeah, they see yeah. On, on this. Yeah, they'll see that. Yeah, yep. Well, so, yeah. a, what a difficult task. <laughs> yeah, it, it's anyway. I, they were great. I had a good time watching them. But uh, anyways, I thank you to everyone too for submitting drawings and stuff because it's a lot Absolutely. of fun. So thank you so much. It was really fun and really great. <laughs> I enjoyed <laughs> a lot. I enjoyed them a lot. That's awesome. All right, we'll we'll talk soon. And uh, thanks okay. again, Jan.